one day, we received an invitation. Oh, it's from the ambassador of the Dominican Republic. Isn't it the first time we're taping so far away? Good job. Wow. It'll be a meaningful event. 맞아요. 근데 톡톡님의 도움이 좀 필요할 것 같아요. 여기까지 어떻게 가는지랑 또 얼마나 걸리는지 이렇게 촬영에 필요한 것들 좀 정리해 주실래요? Sure, no problem. 그럼 이거 말고 한국이랑 도미니카 공화국 사이 어떤 일들이 일어나고 있는지 자료를 좀 찾아볼까요? Yes. Oh, look at this. I found some columns the ambassador wrote for Korean media. Oh, 잘 찾으셨네요. 어디서 찾으셨어? It seems he's interested in economic security. 그러게요. 양국이 경제 안보를 강화해야 하는데 그 과정에서 또 다른 중요한 기회를 찾을 수도 있다고 그렇게 말씀을 하셨네요. Wouldn't it be good to ask some questions related to this area? There are many issues to be solved globally at this time. 오, 좋은 아이디어인 것 같아요. 오, 역시. 역시 톡톡님. I'm awesome. Right? 어요 네? 저희 오늘 멀리 가요. 어디 가는데요? 멀리. 아, 맨날 멀리 가. 서울을 밖으로. 일부러 그러는 거예요? 왜요? 아닙니다. 빨리 타시죠. I thought we were finally leaving, but we almost left one of our camera directors. Okay, we are finally leaving. As we got out of Seoul, we were briefly able to enjoy the natural scenery of Korea that is normally hard to see. We finally arrived at our destination. 여러분, 드디어 오늘 장소에 도착했습니다. 어디에 와 있냐면요, 바로 여기입니다. 빠밤. 남이섬 선착장에 와 있습니다. 남이섬 선착장. Nami Island, which is about 1.5 hours away from Seoul by car, is one of Korea's representative tourist destinations that is well known abroad. We went to the venue where we promised to meet the ambassador. We saw the ambassador walking toward us from afar. Hello, ambassador! It's Hi. great to see you here. Fantastic. Yes. Nice yeah. to see you again. How have you been? You're looking very elegant. <laughs> Thank you very much. Why did he ask us to meet at Nami Island? Well, we've done many programs in my office, mm -hmm. and I thought the audience uh, would welcome a change. Uh -huh. And it turns out we have a fantastic exhibition oh. here since September, uh -huh. and it has been extended for three more months. Oh. It's called the Republic of Color. Uh -huh. So why don't we do the interview here? I think uh, it's about Nami Island is one of the most popular tourist destinations yes. in Korea. Yes. I think we should take a ferry, shall we? Let's do we it. We have to get on a ferry to enter Nami yeah. Island. Oh, you see, there are so many people yeah. today. <laughs> I was surprised there were so many tourists. I could feel that our daily lives, which had been put on hold due to COVID-19, was slowly recovering back to normal. So have you traveled a lot? Because the restrictions yeah. have been lifted. 
most of my travels have been official trips to different cities. Mm. Daegu, Busan, I lost mm. count how many times I went to Busan, oh. including the BTS concert that was ah, there. Ah, you were there? Amazing. Yes. Wow. The most amazing experience. <sighs> Because you see, they are really good. Oh, I'm so That's jealous. That's no question. But the production <laughs> values uh -huh. of the BTS co uh, company, mm -hmm. you know, that runs the show, mm -hmm. are, are have no comparison. I've oh, never seen such a thing. Oh, really? The ferry finally arrived. The ambassador and I decided to go upstairs. It was a little cold, but we were able to enjoy the scenery of the nearby areas. We have Dominican Republic flag and Korean flag as well yeah. here at the ferry. We share the same colors, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering why you chose Nami Island to hold an exhibition. Um, this exhibition was organized originally mm -hmm. after I projected uh, a documentary of the same title in London. Oh. It's called the Republic of Color. Uh -huh. It was a great success. La pintura no solo es color. La pintura es materia. La pintura es una proyección distinta imaginarse que es rojo o verde o negro o blanco. Son tonalidades que existen en la luz y al principio y al final la luz es lo que nosotros usamos para ver y no ver. And I thought that the documentary should be projected in the context of a sample of the works displayed mm. in the documentary. Mm. And, and uh, we, we prepared the exhibition for the Tate Museum in London. I was ambassador in London at the time, uh -huh. 2016. Uh -huh. So I presented the proposal in 2017 and they told me well, you know, we are going to put you in the pipeline, oh. but it takes five years because we, we have so many other exhibitions uh -huh. waiting in line. Oh. 2017 plus five is 2022. Oh. I'm no longer a master in London. Oh. So what I did, I took my proposal to my following post, Qatar. I was ambassador in Qatar. I presented it there right away, uh -huh. the first Dominican week uh -huh. I celebrated in Qatar. And then I left Qatar for Korea, where mm. I'm posted now. Mm. And I present the exhibition in the Don the Moon Design Plaza. Yeah. This was last year. Uh -huh. it, it was a great success. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, you know, after we put this effort, mm -hmm. we should find another place mm -hmm. where we can continue sharing mm -hmm. this sample of Dominican culture mm -hmm. with a wider public. And it was, as expected, a major success. I could feel his passion of wanting others to know about his home country. As we talked, the ferry arrived on Nami Island. We got off the ferry and decided to walk to the exhibition hall. It would be a 10-minute walk to the exhibition. Now, isn't this amazing, this place? Yeah. We're in this corridor of pine trees. It's been a while since I've been to Nami Island, but the beautiful scenery was the same. We finally saw the hall where the exhibition was being held. I wondered what kind of artworks would be on display. When I entered the exhibition hall, I could see works from many different eras, and artistic styles. There are more paintings that I expected. 25 masterpieces 25. of Dominican painting. Wow. Shall we take a look around? Well, before, before starting, I think uh, the key question is why the title? Why the Republic of Color? Mm -hmm. That's the title of the documentary oh. that inspired the exhibition. Mm -hmm. Many of, of the pieces here represented were painted by immigrants that came running from Europe, from the oh. wars in Europe, mm. and became Dominican. Mm. And by arriving at the Dominican Republic, their color palette changed completely. Mm. Look at this, for example, George Hausdorff. This is a sunset. Wow. It's a sunset in January. Mm -hmm. It's the most amazing sunset that we have. 
very intense colors. Uh -huh. It reminds me of impressionist thoughts. Yes. Yes. And, and you compare what Hausdorff was doing before coming to the Dominican Republic. Oh. There's no such intensity. Oh, I should, I should compare that. And, and the interesting thing is that we couldn't bring the originals. These, these are mm. high-resolution reproductions oh. printed in canvas. Although they weren't originals, they were printed so delicately they felt like originals. Here we have uh, another masterpiece mm -hmm. of the many mm. that he left, one of the most prolific painters of the mm -hmm. Dominican Republic, Guillo Perez. Uh -huh. These are the, the sugarcane oh. uh, workers. Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny, isn't it? Because it, it's very hard work and yet they don't look tired or yeah. they don't look unhappy. They, yeah. The colors are really intense, intense right? and vivid. This is one of, one of my so, favorites. Yeah. Why do you like this piece so much? I, I, I like it because it's, it's so typical. It's so typical of, of this uh, lushness of, of the environment, mm. plus uh, the activity of, mm. of the female mm. settlers. I, I think we all have, uh, in some way, uh, this in our own respective countries. Mm. I, I just, uh, this year we had a fantastic series, Pachinko, mm. depicting the role of settlers here in Korea. Yeah. Uh, from during colonial times mm. and after, no, mm -hmm. you can see by, by the contortions in their body that mm -hmm. they're just not passively waiting for people to arrive, but they are attracting. Mm -hmm. You know, they, this, these contortions uh, are a way for the artist to convey the movement. No? Oh, and I really like that you mentioned the posture of the woman. They look very active. Although the two countries are physically far apart, the daily lives of the people living there did not seem much different. We have a, a devil. Uh, the devil is the typical creature of carnival. Mm. So this devil is, is a mulatto painted by Vela Zanetti. Mm -hmm. he, he was born in, in the same hometown of my wife, Burgos. Mm. And not only he, he developed as a painter, he had already studied and he had already painted in Spain, mm. but he really developed as a painter and as a muralist in the Dominican Republic. Oh. Most of the most important murals in the Dominican Republic, in public buildings, mm -hmm. in churches, mm -hmm. uh, and eventually in the headquarters of the UN in New York, mm -hmm. were painted by him. Mm -hmm. uh, this, my personal favorite of all the, the ones oh. here is this one. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Perico Ripiao hasta la manesca. Mm -hmm. It's basically merengue till, till dawn breaks. No? Oh. And here, <laughs> this is a rural scene. You have mm -hmm. the three musicians. Mm -hmm. And then you can see the movement of all the couples dancing. Yeah. Enraptured till, till the dawn breaks. Ooh, it shows the passion of the Dominican Republic. Yes. <laughs> People just love to dance mm -hmm. all the time. I wondered what message the master wanted to convey to people through the exhibition. Culture is what we are, right? Mm. Uh, when we meet, we exchange business cards. Mm. When countries present themselves, mm. what do they do? They present their culture. Mm. So this is what the Dominican Republic is. Mm. A colorful country, a creative country, mm. a country of mixed descent, mm. you know, a mixture of cultures, of races, of languages, of influences. And when you go to Dominican Republic, this is what you will find. I didn't want my meeting with the ambassador to end after coming all the way to Nami Island. We decided to talk some it? more. Shall we start? Okay, so ambassador. Last year, 2022, was the 60th anniversary of our bilateral relations, but it was also a very tough year for the world. Has there been a change in the priorities of the cooperative relationships between our two countries? I think uh, clearly the situation calls for deepening what was already going on. Uh, before the Ukraine war, we were promoting additional work on the energy transition. Mm. Uh, Korea is already a, a player in Dominican Republic. Mm. We have POSCO enlarging our capacity for LNG storage. Mm. 
We have SK with clear plans for the energy transition and also seeking to become a player in LNG distribution and, and generation. So what we were doing before, now I think uh, we need to do even more uh, with a long-term view. We need to think about developing a hydrogen economy mm -hmm. uh, and, and a whole ecosystem attached to it. And Korea has mastered these technologies. In fact, some of the players I have mentioned uh, we, we want to work with Korea uh, on, on an efficient energy system covering electricity and transportation. We want to work with Korea in enlarging our road network, our rail network. So all these issues should be part of, of uh, future agreements that gives us the certainty we need for the next decades that, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do it with Korea and we're going to do it with Korean companies. Uh, another element uh, in, in the equation that has to come into play and we welcome the decision of the Korean government of inviting the Dominican Republic to negotiate a bilateral free trade agreement. The Dominican Republic presented data analyzing the expected economic effects of a potential FTA between Korea and the Dominican Republic. According to the report, if an FTA were signed between the two sides, there would be an increase of around 50 export items from the Dominican Republic to Korea, with an increase in the amount of exports of $85 million. The Dominican Republic predicted an increase in exports of agricultural and processed products, such as plantains and sugar, underground mineral resources, such as ferro-nickel, and major industrial products, such as medical devices. Although this report did not specifically analyze Korea's exports to the Dominican Republic by item, overall exports are expected to expand due to significant tariff cuts across all industrial products. As of October 2021, Korea's main exports to the Dominican Republic are passenger cars, other heavy electrical equipment parts, trucks, heavy construction equipment, pharmaceuticals, and auto parts. This is, I think, an essential key, uh, an essential piece of the puzzle mm. to realize all these long-term benefits uh, ahead for, for both of us. Uh, think about the energy transition. I mean, we need to import technology, we need to import machinery, services mm. that need to be provided. So are we going to pay taxes for this? I think free trade is needed. Mm. And then we need to balance the equation. I think uh, we, we have a lot to offer to Koreans, to Korean consumers. So without free trade, we won't be able to export more uh, than we are already doing into mm -hmm. Korea. Mm -hmm. So we often hear the term economic security these days a lot. Economic security refers to the use of economic means to promote national security. In other words, it means being able to fully access and utilize national resources, finances, and markets in order to maintain the state's power and wealth above a certain level. Recent economic security issues include urea crisis stemming from China, Japan's tightened export controls on chipmaking materials, and Europe's risk of gas shortages. The reason why economic security has the spotlight in the international community these days is because of the global supply chain crisis. The global supply chain, which has spearheaded the world's economic growth in the era of globalization, is being pointed to as a source of instability that can weaken national competitiveness through the weaponization of interdependency. The causes of disruption in the global supply chain include the intensifying and prolonged strategic competition between the U.S. and China, the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic, and Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Would that bilateral FTA between Korea and the Dominican Republic help to strengthen the economic security? Clearly, um, there's an element of economic security involved uh, when it comes to trade. If we trade better, if we have free trade, then we become reliable suppliers of each other. Mm -hmm. And Korea is already exporting everything they want to, to the Dominican Republic, providing us uh, uh, the opportunity of serving Korea as an element uh, on, on their own economic security by uh, you know, be, being an important market. I mean, in terms of the total trade, it's negligible. Mm -hmm. 
But the Dominican Republic, I think, exemplifies the role that the whole of Latin America can play mm -hmm. for Korea as a destination market for its mm -hmm. products. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it comes to, to having a sizable population, we have 660 million people in Latin America. Mm -hmm. That's one element of economic security, having reliable markets. But another element of economic security is having a reliable supplier mm -hmm. for the critical uh, inputs mm -hmm growing countries like Korea need uh, for, for the future, mm -hmm. for the energy transition, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to be replacing conventional fuels for so-called uh, renewable fuels. No? But the renewable fuels require critical inputs. Mm -hmm. We have all this in Latin America. In fact, we have many of those in Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. But I think Treating Latin America as just a source of raw materials mm -hmm. is, a missed oppor is going to be a missed opportunity. Mm -hmm. I think Korea needs to embrace fully uh, the needs that the whole world has mm -hmm. for decentralizing production. Uh, so that instead of using Latin America as a source for raw materials, mm -hmm. they, they can take Latin America as a destination of Korean investment to industrialize Latin America mm -hmm. in the production of those products that uh, utilize critical minerals mm. as inputs, mm. say solar panels mm. or the fuel cells that are used uh, for generating energy with mm. hydrogen. Uh, all these products cannot be concentrated in just one country mm. because then when supply chains become disrupted, mm. the whole world suffers. When China imposed strong restrictions under its zero COVID policy, Apple faced disruption to its production processes. Zhengzhou, China is the largest production base for iPhones, producing more than 80% of all the iPhones supplied around the world. Currently, Apple is trying to diversify its manufacturing facilities to India, Mexico, and Vietnam. Samsung decided to reorganize its production base as more than 50% of its factories had been concentrated in Vietnam. Even if factories shut down in one region, this reorganization will allow production to continue in other regions. Samsung also recommended major suppliers to diversify their production systems at major global production plants. So it's better to think now in the light of the experience we have had so recently uh, as a result of COVID and um, as a result of the war in Ukraine that we really need to decentralize production. Mm. And uh, Korea is a very generous partner. Korea has 30 years experience exporting its public policies through mm. knowledge sharing programs. And now since last year, Korea is embarking on a new approach to um, uh, influencing countries with successful public policies. Korean Development Institute is partnering with a number of other Korean institutions, mm. Korean Exim Bank, uh, the Ministry of Economy and Finance, mm -hmm. which basically oversees the whole mm -hmm. concept. Uh, they have a new Economic Innovation Partnership Program, mm -hmm. EIPP. Mm -hmm. Instead of six months, this lasts for three years mm -hmm. with clear institutional, legal and investment objectives mm -hmm. with specific projects. Mm -hmm. And um, this approach, I think, is going to be a revolution. Mm -hmm. And we are aiming at working with Korea on the basis of an EIPP for the energy transition. Mm -hmm not only for electricity, but also for transportation. Mm. We have to deal with the transportation sector needs. The expansion of the road network, the expansion of the rail network mm. that is virtually non-existent because whatever rail lines we have are from you know, the mid 20th century and are not really being used commercially. We have two metro lines in, the Domin in Santo Domingo, we have two metro lines, we need to build the third. And there's a long-term program to build up to 12 metro lines. Uh, we need light rail in Santiago, we need interurban rail connections between Santiago and Santo Domingo. Mm -hmm. So there are plenty of opportunities there for, for uh, Korean companies. Mm -hmm. I think reading upon the interviews you had with the domestic media and you said for economic security, it may be logical for South Korea to look to Latin America as a source for grain and fuel. Yeah. So could you elaborate more about this? Sure, uh, and that's, you know, when you look at the cold figures, that's basically what you see. We are exporting a lot to Korea, grain and fuels. Mm. And Korea has food security needs. Korea has 
has a strong demand for critical minerals like copper from Peru, for example. Mm. So if we don't do anything mm. about economic security, I think Latin America is already servicing some of the needs of Korea. But we must go beyond that. We must think uh, about uh, resilience. If we don't industrialize mm. uh, those critical minerals at the source, then we are going to be at the mercy of the next supply chain shock. Mm. So the only answer is to become resilient. And there is no way to become resilient without decentralizing production. So that's, I think, the answer mm. for the future of the bilateral relations. We have to work for economic security. is the number one priority in foreign policy for Korea. Mm. The whole of Latin America, but in particular the Dominican Republic, is ready mm. for Korea to work uh, on economic security as the global pivotal state it aspires to be. Mm. So we can be a close ally for economic security. Definitely. Mm. It was already the fifth meeting with the Dominican Republic ambassador, but every time I talk to him, I learn something new. If I don't dance, I, I, I'm no longer an ambassador. It's part I of really my duty. Want to see you dance. The beginning of, of the autumn, when the leaves were brown, this was packed full. Yeah. 